Setting up audio for new streamers is complicated and confusing, but after hours of work, your mic sounds great, your game is clear, and your music, well, it's amazing. You've done it, except your viewers keep screaming at you to fix your audio. They can't hear you because apparently the game is too loud, so I guess we're gonna drop the game volume in OBS. Except now they can't hear the music at all because it's on the same slider. So let's raise that back up and lower the game volume in the settings instead. Perfect, your viewers are finally happy, except you're not. Now you can't hear the game at all over the music and you keep getting shot in the ass because of that. Today we are fixing all of this pain. We're going to be setting up a tool called Sonar that works with OBS or Streamlabs to route your different audio sources carefully into different channels and then into OBS, allowing you to have much better control over your audio. It will also help make your mic sound clearer, crisper and cleaner, but most importantly at the end of the video I'm going to show you how to set up your recordings to have separate audio tracks, which I cannot express how crucial this is for editing streams later into videos or TikToks. So Stick around for that. First, we're going to need to grab the software. It's called Sonar or Sonar for Streamers. I'll link it in the description, so head over to the SteelSeries website and click free download. Install that and open the program. It will be called SteelSeries GG, and once it's open, click the Sonar tab. There might be a pop-up that asks you to select your microphone and headphones, so read these carefully and select your systems mic and your headphones. Don't worry, I will show you where to change it as well later. It's not locked in at all. Once you reach the mixer section, as shown here, head to the top right and click Streamer Mode. You're going to be met with five different channels and a master channel. Let's confirm you set your mic and headphones up properly before we do a quick giveaway. So click the cogwheel on the master channel and you will see three drop downs. The first says personal mix. This is your audio mix that you're going to hear through your headphones or speakers. You're going to want to set this to, again, your headphones or speakers. Mine are called System Bridgecast, but you can also see my Arctis headset is here as well. Next is the stream mix. This is the audio mix that your stream is going to hear. Set this to SteelSeries Sonar Stream. And finally, Finally, the mic input. This is the mic you'll be talking into. So set this to your microphone. Mine is called Mic Bridgecast, but you'll also be called something like Samsung Q2U if you've bought the mic I tend to recommend. And with that, it's time to start routing our audio right after this giveaway by Own. Thank you to our sponsor, Own, for doing today's giveaway. Own.tv is the best place to get stream overlays, alerts, sub badges, and just you name it, graphics for anything you need as a streamer. They've given me dozens of vouchers for their store, which work alongside their global sales. This means that anytime they're having a massive sale, like they are right now, you could grab pretty much anything on their website, even a full animated overlay pack for just a few dollars or even free. All you have to do to enter is to write hashtag owned giveaway and let me know what you'd pick up, whether it's an overlay pack, an alert pack, you name it. Thank you again to Own for always supporting this channel. I couldn't make this content without them. Now that you have Sonar installed, this is going to be where all our audio comes from. So let's add this to OBS or Streamlabs as a single sound source. Open OBS, click settings, go to audio, and you'll see all these drop downs here. I want you to remove your mic and all your other captures. Set them all to disabled and instead just add Steel Series Sonar Stream to Mic Ox Audio 1. From there, click apply and you'll see this single audio level at the bottom. Click the three dots and make sure it's set to vertical because horizontal levels are for freaks, psychos, and sickos. Then click them again and rename it to Stream Mix so you never get confused about what audio is there. I briefly explained it earlier, but you can see here there are five columns. There's game, chat, media, ox, and mic. These are essentially virtual audio sources. If you're a beginner, think of it like this. When you plug a microphone into your computer, you get a microphone source that you can add to OBS. And if you plug a second microphone in, you'll get a second microphone source that you could also add to OBS. These are two different microphones and two different sources. Sonar creates new virtual audio sources on your computer, kind of like adding a microphone. But rather than sending your voice to that source like a microphone would, you're sending your computer programs that create audio. So your game, Spotify, Google Chrome, you name it, if it makes audio, you can route it. For example, if I play music on Spotify, you'll see Spotify appears down here at the bottom in the apps to be routed section. I can then drag Spotify over to the media channel and now the levels here are moving with the music. And if I look inside OBS, then the stream mix is also moving as well. Now, if I wanna change the volume of my Spotify, I can drag this volume slider for media all the way down and it will become quieter in OBS. But wait, you might not be able to actually hear your music when you've done this. Well, that might be because you need to click the cogwheel and tick personal mix as well as stream mix. This means that you are sending the audio to your personal mix, your headphones, as well as to your stream mix, your viewers that can hear it in OBS. And this goes for all these sources as well. I can route any audio from any program to any of these channels and then send it to my stream or to me or to both, all while controlling the volume from Sonar and not all the individual programs. This means if I don't wanna to listen to music, but my viewers do, I can lower or even outright mute my 
music by moving my personal mixed media slider all the way down. This is called submixing and it's incredible. I find most streamers like to hear the games at full volume, especially people playing shooters where it's crucial you can hear your enemies. But viewers prefer listening to music because it fills in all the dead air when the streamer isn't speaking or just focusing really intensely. So I can route my game to my game, Discord to chat, music to media, and whatever else I want to aux, and then level everything carefully for my stream and for me, which is amazing because I'm a little bit deaf if you didn't know, and I need to listen to everything much louder than my viewers want to, especially my games. And all of the audio that I've added to stream mix, routed and leveled is still being sent to the stream mix source we added to OBS which includes my microphone. Now, I still wanna show you guys how to set up six track recording, AKA the best thing every content creator needs to use for editing videos, shorts, and TikToks, AKA the actual thing that grows your stream. But I want to quickly cover a few really cool features in Sonar. Number one, as much as you want to, don't try to listen to your own mic source through personal mix. Pretty much it is impossible to get lag free monitoring for a microphone on a virtual mixer. It's something that I really want and something that you guys ask about a lot, so I often have to bring it up, but no, I haven't found lag free monitoring in software. If you do try to listen back to your microphone through personal mix while streaming, you'll speech jam yourself. And while it's hilarious watching someone stutter because their voice is in their ears, it's not great content after about 30 seconds. That said, what you can do with this software is make your mic sound absolutely amazing. If you click mic up at the top, you'll see it has what's called a 10 band parametric EQ. This lets you alter how your mic sounds. People use this to often make themselves sound more crisp or generally just pretend they have a much cooler sounding voice than they actually do. If you're new, I'd recommend going and finding a full video guide on EQ before you start fiddling, but for now, you can try these different presets built for different voice types until you get one that you really like. And of course, if you scroll down, you can lightly add noise reduction to remove any white noise such as fans or air conditioning. But remember, don't add too much or it will start to strip your voice away and give you a very hollow or tinny sound. You can also add a compressor here to try sound a bit more like a radio presenter, but again, don't go too heavy. And of course, a noise gate so the mic isn't always transmitting out as well and instead just grabs when you speak or the mic picks up something loud. To set this easily, turn on the gate, put it all the way to the side and then start talking and slowly slide it until you hear your voice. Then go a little bit further and stop because that'll capture even the quieter times when you're talking. This is a very surface level look, but I think these tools are really great for beginners. So I wanted to shout them out. Now let's cover six track recording. Earlier we added the stream mix to OBS, but now we're gonna add more sources, but carefully set them up so that the stream and yourself won't be able to hear them, but they will still be recorded in OBS. If we don't set this up, then all of our audio will be on one single track later for editing. So if we want to raise our voice up in post-production, it means our game, music, everything will be raised as well. And in reverse, if we wanted to lower our game volume while editing so people could hear our voice, well, that's impossible. We would just be lowering all our audio, not just our game. Hopefully that explanation allows you to see just how important it is to split everything up. So first head to OBS, click settings and click output. Personally, I use advanced mode settings, but if you use simple and don't wanna be confused trying to set everything up from scratch again, well, almost all the settings here will be the exact same. So don't worry, you can still do everything you need. First, we're gonna check the streaming section and make sure our streaming audio track is set to one. This means the stream will hear anything we set to track one later. Now we go to the recording section and I want you to make sure the recording format is .mkv. This isn't needed for the audio, but setting it to MKV means if OBS ever crashes or your PC shuts off mid record, recording or stream, well, your recording won't corrupt and you can still use it later. So this is just a bonus tip that I think is important. And after that, make sure that all six audio tracks in the recording section are ticked. This means that all six of our tracks later will be recorded. Once you've done that, click apply. Now click settings again, go to audio and see that Mike Ox Audio 1 is taken by that stream mix we set up earlier. And now I want you to add SteelSeries microphone to Mike Ox Audio 2 then SteelSeries Gaming to Desktop Audio 1, and then Media to Desktop Audio 2. Now, any audio you routed to these channels in Sonar will be sent to OBS directly as well. Click Apply, and now you'll see that you have four different volume levels at the bottom of OBS. Currently, all of these are going out to your viewers, which means we need to fix that very fast. But first, not so fast that we're gonna make it messy. So rename each of these levels appropriately. If you followed along exactly, then your desktop audio should now be nicknamed Gaming. Desktop audio should now be renamed to media. Stream mix is already named. And finally, Mic Ox 2 should be named microphone. Once that is done, click any of the three dots and click advanced audio properties. First step, I want you to turn off every single track so the entire thing is empty. Now remember, we want our viewers to hear the stream mix and we also set our stream track to one earlier. So find stream mix in the list and select track one. 
For our gaming, our media, and our mic, we don't want these on track one because Sonar is already sending them to our viewers through the stream mix. If we set them to track one, it would double up. So instead, we're gonna set our microphone to track two, gaming to track three, and media to track four. With that done, it means when we stream, viewers will hear everything through the Sonar stream mix, but when we also record, every individual channel from Sonar will be on its own track. Now, it's really important to remember, you do need to route an app to the correct channel. It will not do this automatically. So if you've never played Baldur's Gate yet, but you load it up and don't route it to the game channel, well then it won't be recorded on its own channel inside OBS because you never routed it to gaming. So let me record something here briefly and I can show you the six tracks. But before I drag this clip that I recorded into my editing software, I actually have to go to OBS, click file, click remux, select the file I just recorded and then click remux. I'm doing this because we changed our recording format to MKV to keep the file safe from crashes mid recording earlier, which makes them awesome for recording, but MKV are not so great for editing. So when we remux, we're just turning it into an MP4 with absolutely no quality loss. I drag the MP4 version into the editing software and then that into my timeline. And as you can see here, I have six tracks. I can individually delete, change the volume, cut parts, add effects, just ditch the game. So I only have my voice, ditch everything so I just have the game, you name it, I have full control. These tracks correlate directly to the OBS ones as well, so my stream mix is on track one. This is all the audio stream heard. You'll likely delete this when you're editing, but if not, it's there. And then on track two, you have your microphone, your game is on track three, and your music is on track four. Congratulations, you have successfully split all your audio up so you can edit and change the levels with Sonar in OBS, and when you're editing later, you have them all split off perfectly. But if your microphone still sounds like shit, then why don't you click this video right here where I show you guys the absolute best microphone for every content creator and how it is actually only $75. It's wild.